Hey there, my name is Nathan, and I'm with the product service team here at Bobcat. This video is to address a concern some of you may have with your Bobcat CT1000 or CT2000 series smoking on the first start of the day. The goal today is to share the proper startup procedure as well as discuss how much smoke is normal and whether or not you should take it to your Bobcat dealership. Now, some of you may already be used to the smoke, but we want to emphasize that properly starting the engine in your compact tractor will prolong its useful life and help you get the most out of your tractor. Do not attempt to use your tractor for any job without allowing the engine to reach proper operating temp. Keep in mind, mechanical injection engines like this may produce some smoke, which is normal. These tried and true diesel engines don't run as clean as what you might see in the latest common rail diesel engines. First, let's start the engine properly to see if there is a problem. Behind me is a CT2025, and this is the model we will be using for demonstration today. Step one, make sure the throttle is at the lowest setting, then turn the key forward two clicks. This takes you past accessory to the on position. This will cycle the fuel pump and initiate other electrical components. Step two, the glow plug icon should be on at this point and we're going to wait for it to go off. This icon indicates that the glow plugs are heating up the combustion chamber before receiving diesel fuel in each cylinder. Step three, after the glow plug icon is off, turn the key to the start position and release when the engine starts. At this initial startup, you can expect to see some white smoke being emitted from the exhaust near the left front tire. Step four, proceed to run the engine at low idle for one minute. Starting a diesel engine and letting it idle at low RPMs for a short period of time is a common practice and is done for a few reasons. Diesel engines, like any internal combustion engine, operates more efficiently and causes less wear when they are at their optimal operating temperature. Idling at low RPMs allows the engine components to gradually warm up before subjecting them to higher speeds and heavier loads. Step five, next we'll run the engine at high idle for one minute. Now the engine is warming up, but it will still require this period at high idle to reach proper operating temp. If the tractor still emits smoke after the first two minutes of idling, continue to run the machine until it is up to operating temperature. At this point, we expect the exhaust to clear up to where it is not visually noticeable. However, if your machine is still smoking at operating temperature, it may be time to call your Bobcat dealer for further diagnostics. If temperatures are below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, it's best to have a block heater installed and plugged in for up to three to four hours prior to initial start. If you're having trouble starting your machine in the extreme cold, you have the option to manually cycle the glow plugs for a maximum of 60 seconds. Do this by turning and holding the key counterclockwise. The amount of smoke produced depends on various factors. One of the more important factors is fuel type. Number two, diesel fuel will have a higher cetane value resulting in less smoke than number one fuel, which has a lower cetane value. Because of this, you can expect to see a tractor smoke more in regions where number one fuel is used compared to where number two fuel is used. We would like to stress that if you do notice white smoke coming from your exhaust during the startup procedure, do not be alarmed. EPA regulations around emissions allow for off-road vehicles to produce the type of smoke discussed today. For more information, refer to your operation and maintenance manual or contact your local Bobcat dealer. I'm Nathan with Bobcat and thanks for watching.